Hey, this is Ryan from 60 Cycle Hump, the guitar podcast. Today, I'm going to show off a thing I bought, and it just came in the mail a little bit ago. It's by the brand of Music Area. They make cases and stuff. Steve and I connected up with them at Winter Nam a month or so ago, and I just thought this case that they have looks pretty cool, so I used my own money, and I bought one, and here it is. Uh, the item name on the box is Effects Backpack. All right, let's check this thing out. Open it on up. Pretty cool inside. It's like a like a cooler. Like they even say in the marketing for it that you can fill it up with a bunch of uh, you know, like you fill it up with a six pack of ice and uh, keep your beers cold or your soda cold, whatever you prefer. A really beefy construction. The case that Steve and I got that we're going to do uh, some videos of here in the future is really beefy too. I was really impressed with it, which is part of the reason why I felt compelled to pick this up. It's uh, kind of like the same concept as like a mono case uh, tick. I think it's a little bit bigger. Uh, and something I was wondering is if I could potentially attach this to my mono case. So that's something I'm going to figure out here in a second. It comes with these backpack straps. All right, here it goes, backpack time. It's on my back. I could potentially pack things in it, so yeah, there it is. <laughs> I really won't know how cool or silly it looks until I get this in post and get to watch it myself. Uh, to me, it seems like the sort of thing where if you've got an amp in one hand and you've got a guitar hard case in the other hand and uh, you need to carry a small pedal board, having it as a backpack is a no-brainer. Uh, the way my rig usually is is that I'm wearing the mono case on my back and then the pedal board is in my hand and the amp is in the other hand, which makes it really convenient to carry around. All right, let's see if these clips spots on here are compatible with the, uh, the mono case now. So the first problem is that there's no clips between here and here. They both have an O-ring sort of, not O-ring, but you know what I mean. They have like a like a, a loop situation on both sides. So I'm going to need something in between them to connect them. All right, I've got some, uh, I've got some carabiners here that I had laying around. So I'm going to try to use those to connect the effects bag to the mono case. All right, it's it's on there. There's something kind of silly about how loose it swings though. It's basically like a chain in between the two cases with those carabiners in there. I mean, it works. I don't think uh, this system's gonna fail at all if I had like a PT Nano in there with a couple pedals on it, or even if I had, you know, a bunch of uh, cables or whatnots in there, iPad, you know, all my accessories in there. I think it's gonna be fine. It might even be better that there's some give to it, be more resistant to, you know, problems caused by pulling and stress and stuff like that. Uh, but I kind of, I wanna see if instead of hooking loop to loop with the carabiner in between if I can ho if I can hook the carabiner into the fabric loop here and get this to be a little bit more compact. So yeah, those actually went into the fabric loop pretty easy. And it's a little bit less swingy, but still, I mean, it's it's moving around quite a bit. It's uh, obviously not meant to be, you know, perfectly matched in between brands. Uh, it's meant to be matched with another music area case. Another thing about it is that you'll notice that the whole thing opens upside down. So if you have stuff in here that can fall out when the bag is vertical, that could be a problem. If I was gonna use this this way, I'd have to lay the bag down flat 
before opening this to get into the guts. Uh, it's, it's interesting. I'm gonna have to figure out how I wanna use this thing. I know I've been wanting to put together some sort of smaller like grab and go kind of pedal board because um, I use my big pedal board for a lot of demo stuff and I don't always wanna pack it up. Uh, so I'll cover this more if you guys are interested in learning more about it, I guess. Um, I think the bag itself is really good construction. I really like the, uh, the fabric on it. I like the look of it. I like the feel of it. I think this thing's pretty dang beefy. I think it was a good buy. Uh, but if you're looking to have something, you know, connect perfectly with your mono case, it's a little rough. I don't know if I can recommend it in that direction. Of course, I haven't used it yet, but it just doesn't seem to be perfectly secure on there. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, dislike, uh, leave me rude and nasty comments. Uh, I swear I can deal with it emotionally and intellectually. <laughs> uh, if you want to support the channel, please check out the link to our Patreon. All right, later, guys.